another two points thrown away in the latter stages of the game. Um, how are your feelings? Disappointed. Um, can't keep conceding late on. First of all, do so well leading up to it, you know. Played very well defensively, scored the goals at the right time, went in 1 0 at half time, scored just after the break. I think everything was going our way. A um, few decisions didn't go our way, but like I say, it went, went both sides to be fair. They, they didn't have a few, we didn't have a few. Um, and then we just can't keep making the basic mistakes happen. You know, if, uh, you know, the first goal, it's just a lapse of error, not doing the right thing, what we ask them to do. The second goal, you know. We didn't look like we were set from the free kick and Wall's jumped, he's just gone underneath it and it's, it's took a nick off Jamie as it's gone in. But, you know, like I say, you know, I think the free kick could have been done at source. We don't have to do, we don't track runners and we go late on, we're going to give fouls away. You know, they're a bright team going forward and I think, um, you know, they, they punished us right at the end. And, uh, you know, twice, twice in a row now that, you know, three points could have been earned in the you know, last few minutes of the game, 88th minute last time and 89th minute this time. Uh, has the team got a bit of problem with concentration in the last few minutes, perhaps? Yeah, maybe, but I, just, I think it comes a little bit before then, to be fair. You know, it's the first goal that sets it off. I just think they just need to understand. You've got to remember at times, you know, you look at the back four and the keeper, they're, they're such a young back four. I don't think anyone's at older than 23, are they? Uh, 22 maybe, I think it was 19 year olds, 20 year olds, so have got a young side, so they're going to learn and they're going to make mistakes, we've just got to make sure that their mistakes happen and we'll still win the game, um, and obviously it's cost to say there's mistakes that have happened, but it's come from other areas as well, you know, tracking runners in midfield, not doing the job that we asked for the forward three, you know, so we can't just blame it on, on certain individuals, I think as a collective, as a team, we have to, especially when we get to that latter 10 minutes, we have to dig deep and just do the right things in the right areas, and you know, a bit of game management at times, but the, you know, People will learn that as the game goes on. And you're missing a few faces again today, Luke Walker, Conor McMillan, David Corder. You know, uh, do you think perhaps we were missing a few of those faces today, especially in the second half? Maybe, maybe we needed a bit more um, in there. However, still expect the lads that are on there. You know, like we talk about the young lads, they, they should be playing 90 minutes. I know obviously Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday for the past, what, three or four weeks? You know, it's probably not helping, however, Still should be able to to deal with that for ninety minutes, um, but yeah, I might be right. However, I just think that we did have enough to to deal with it with the lads that we did have. It's just concentration at the right areas. That's all it is: concentration um, and dealing with the things at the right area. And we didn't do it. Uh, Brandon Webster got his third goal in four four games. If I'm right, so cracking finish as well. It's nice to know that we're getting goals from elsewhere on the pitch. Yeah, it's great. You know, we've got young Elliot that's come in today, made his debut. Um, you know, I think as he's 17 years old, uh, played full 90 minutes today, which was fantastic for him. On the right side of the three, Brandon today was excellent as well. Did his job really well. I think he, he you know, it shows say the you, their team talk at half time. We're talking about putting him on his right foot. We can't deal with it. He <laughs> pulls that out of the bag with his right foot again after doing it at Maltby. So the teams haven't learned. However, it is, it, you know, them, them two lads are progressing well, and you know, Doug's have started scoring again. So it's good to see that our, our front three are scoring goals. Um, just like I say, just maybe one or two more, and we're, we're, we're and you got Maltby Main again on Saturday. This time at home, so you, you've already known them from the League Cup a week and a half ago. Does that give you a little bit more confidence that you know how to prepare for this one? Yeah, well, to be fair, we know a lot about Maltby because obviously we have players that we've got and, and coaching staff that we've got. You know, we've known most of the players uh, from one club, same like that. So we know most of the players there and they know most of ours. So it'll be a good contest. We know what Maltby are going to give and. I just hope that we can perform like we, you know, we're, what we're going to do. We're we'll getting training on Thursday, and work on our shape against them, and, and try and change little bits around to see if we can accommodate their side. And uh, like I said, you know, could surprise you. The young lads that we've got, we, we deserve a break, and that break, I believe, will will start on Saturday. I'm beaten in four games in all competitions, and probably should have got a couple of wins under there as well. Uh, in addition to the, you know, the, the draws that we've had in the last few days. You know, surely that win has got to come at some point and that's got to be a breakthrough. Yeah, yeah we've got to be positive and after losing, 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 we're now four unbeaten. So we've got to take massive credit in that and as long as we don't lose, we're going to we're gonna start climbing up the ladder again. You know, we took two spaces up today just by getting a point. 
No, it's disappointing, and we we want three, which is great from and the lads are distraught. We're distraught. We don't. We want three points. That's what we think we deserved. So, yeah, we're going to be distraught, but we've got to make sure that we take the positives out of it. It's another point. And undefeated. So now people are thinking, well, they're they're not going to turn over. That they need a battle. We need to do something to beat them, which is what we we've asked from the, from our young lads. So, like I said, they do that again on Saturday, and I'm sure we'll uh, I'm sure we'll get the victory.